Um, McCluster, Thorpe, and Capano, uh, they tweaked the uh, hamstrings, one tweaked the uh, knee, but they'll be all right. They're a mile. Um, again, listen, my, our heart goes out to the people in Oklahoma uh, with the tornado. I mean, our players felt it, obviously, and, and the coaches felt it in the organization. So, uh, thoughts and prayers on all those people. Um, on the football side of things, uh, we're, we're improving. And the guys are working hard. They've come in with the right attitude. We're throwing a bunch at them, offensively, defensively. Uh, defense is blitzing like crazy. Offense is moving around. It's great work for both sides. We're keeping a positive attitude and working through it. Um, and we'll keep getting sharper like we've, we've been doing. We'll keep getting sharper and more efficient uh, every, every opportunity we have to do this. Next week, we've got, we've got four practices next week as opposed to three. And then at that time, we'll start working on the AFC West opponents and, and some other opponents uh, within the, uh, with, uh, that are on our schedule. All right, time to Looked like the defense was uh, getting after it today. Maybe got the better of it. I'll tell you what, they're, they're blitzing and they're doing a great job with their timing on the blitzes. That's so important. It's so important that you practice it. And uh, as hard as it is uh, on the offense, uh, that's okay. That pays off for you at a later time. And, uh, and the guys are working both sides to, to get better. But timing on blitzes, people don't realize that timing on blitzes is, is so crucial. Andy, was McCluster the guy with the knee? No, McCluster had a hamstring. Yeah. Uh, Capano had the hamstring, Cluster had the hamstring. Okay. Any idea about McCluster next week? I mean, are you looking at him being out for a I think he'll be all right. Yeah, we'll just see. What do you like about Junior Hemingway? He looked like he was getting what, what he was Yeah, well, listen, Junior's done a good job of picking things up. Work. He's a young guy that uh, wants to get in there and get play time, so that's the way he's handled things. And he's very business-like and worked his techniques and the offense and fundamentals. And he's talking about the business. What's the new I'll tell you, I've been very impressed with Tyson. Very, very impressed. Uh, throughout this whole thing, we've been together. Uh, not many guys are going to outwork them on the field. Uh, he's working at the things that uh, the past, past rush was not his forte. He's working like crazy. He's getting better. So, the coach, I tell you that. Saw what he did today. Now again, this isn't live, so um, the offensive line they, they're trying to control it. They're both sides are trying to control it and work it. But yeah, he did. He did nice Big man, he can, he can move. That's very impressive. Tyler's gotten quite a few snaps the last few days. Is that a product of you want to see more of him, or is he yeah. kind of showing you some things that he deserves some more snaps? Right. Or? He and Stans have been kind of rotating there. So um, uh, Tyler was just getting one rep. And so during the team period, so now we flop that over and he gets a three and, and stands he gets a ball. So give him an equal opportunity there. But yeah, we did give Tyler more reps to see. Andy, I think it's been nine practices now with the rookies, with the draft picks. What are your thoughts on this group as a, as a whole? Well, we throw the, yeah, we've thrown the whole playbook out. We, we, we got them for that rookie camp for the three days. We introduced them to the Reds on the last day. The rest of it, the other two practices and the two walkthroughs. Uh, were the offense, but it was minus all the motions and shifts and, and the hurry ups and all that stuff. So uh, they've been thrown into that, and uh, they're hanging on. They're getting better. And it's important that they don't get so frustrated that they log jam there and bogged down. So they've worked through it and, and uh, kept a positive attitude. With the veterans, have been great with them, trying to teach them and help coach them. So and I think I think they've made some progress. A couple more, with Travis Kelsey. I mean, has he been a guy who's been able to do everything you, you hoped he would be able to do athletically? He's doing a nice job, yeah, athletically. Again, he's, that's one of the positions that has a whole lot of uh, different looks that they've got to learn, and, and uh, he's working through that. He's a smart kid. He's just working through it, giving him out of time and, and, and wraps it. He, he's working on it. What you've you've had uh, Niall Davis returning kicks when you've been working on kickoff return. He didn't do that in college. What have you seen in him that leads you to believe he can, he can do that? Well, the size and speed. He's got good vision running back. So, uh, that, that position, you want the guys that can that are willing to hit it up the field. We'll see how he does. I'm how not well. saying that he's the guy necessarily right now, but he, he's working at it. And we'll see how he does uh, through training camp. You traded a Renus, who was kind of the guy who did a lot of that last year. Uh, you have enough candidates? You have enough guy, quality guys to do that? Yeah, well, well, we do. Uh, you know, we, we John ended up uh, bringing uh, Quentin Dempsey in, and yeah. so Quentin had done that for me his rookie year. And he was pretty good at it. And, Dex is good at it, and Wiley is good at it. So uh, we've got enough people back there that can go. And, uh, 
Marty had done it for me a little bit last year. Last well, you came out guys. here, uh, I guess, uh, a couple weeks in that has you most encouraged about the way your progress is going here? No, it's a work ethic. The guy's trying to get better. And uh, there are a lot of little things that determine whether you're going to be an average team or a big team. And, and uh, are you going to be fundamentally sound and do the right things and it's all the different looks, uh, whether you're on the defense or offensive side. Uh, and so you've got to you got to spend time with it. It's not good enough just to learn your play. Let's learn inside now. Let's learn all the leverage positions that you need to be in. And, uh, the guys, they're doing it. They're working it. Normally those little things, that's what counts, but normally that's the things that the players uh, go back away from. Okay, I've got the route. What's the injury season? I've got the cover. Exactly how does that tie into my linebacker, my safety, whatever it might be. So, uh, and they're, they're concentrating on that and working on that very well. So, so from a coaching standpoint, that's all you can ask for. You talked about getting into the AFC West and some other opponents next week. How in depth will that be? Will you be putting a tape or is it just kind of cursory study? No, we'll put we'll put things in, you know, uh, different ideas. And, and then we'll blend it with going against each other, too. So uh, there, there'll be enough in there to where we study them and we get enough of a heads up. Again, just so when we go into this offseason, we training camp that we've got an idea. So you're going to go off some of the teams you can't tell. I mean, some of them are new staff, so you don't know exactly what you're going to So you're going to go off cards a little bit next week, then? No, we're going to try to keep it as much as we can to what we do and fit it in uh, uh, the offensive defensive scheme. And then if we need cards, we've got cards here. Uh, is Moe is Aki going to be out here in the next couple of weeks? Uh, I don't foresee that. I think it's probably some training camp. But when camp starts, will he be ready to go? Uh, well, I mean, we'll see. But right now, I'm, I'm thinking he will be, but we'll see how it He's working like crazy. Last, last one over here, Karen. Coach, you emphasize hard work a lot. Is that how they impress you? When you look at these guys out here and you're going to have to make this determination of positions, is that what's going to be the final thing to impress the coach, the hard work at Well, the execution is important. I think to execute, you've got to put in the hard work uh, to get it right. And uh, to understand the plays and all the fundamentals are really good. You've got to work hard to do that. So, That'll be one thing that we look at, but execution is what we're you know, winning is the most important thing. So that's, that's all these things that add up to that. Aren't they?